uh, the Leader of the Opposition. Mr President, I wish to address the Canton hypocrisy being engaged in by the Coalition parties on the issue of whether the coal-fired Liddell power station in the Hunter Valley should be kept open for a period of time beyond its closure date of 2022, whether by its current owner-operator, AGL, or by another company. The efforts by the current Prime Minister of our country to publicly bully a major energy company on this issue is both disturbing and demeaning to his office. The real issue is how we can keep a reliable, affordable and sustainable supply of electricity available to the community, not the fate of any particular power station. Even if Liddell is kept open for longer, its generating capacity will still need to be replaced in the near future, particularly, as we are told, as it is now operating at only 20 per cent efficiency, which is likely to decline as it continues to age. It was built to last 30 years and is now 47 years old. Prolonging the decision about what our future sources of energy will be is contrary to the interests of the community. We need now to focus on meeting the challenge of ensuring a steady supply of new electricity generation capacity coming online steadily to more than replace what is lost as the coal-fired power stations come to the end of their life. The current Prime Minister and his government like the Berejiklian government here in New South Wales, are failing to address this. Worse, they are trying to use the issue of Liddell to distract the community from the fact they have no plan to get Australia, or even just New South Wales, out of the energy mess they have got us into. After seven budgets, four treasurers, three premiers and three energy ministers, the Berejiklian government still has no energy policy. In case anyone has forgotten, it was the New South Wales Liberal National Government, with the current Premier sitting around the Cabinet table, that literally gave Liddell away to AGL. They privatised it, but did not sell it. They gave it away free of additional charge when they sold Macquarie Generation to AGL in 2013-14. That sale was opposed by the ACCC because it would reduce competition and drive the price of electricity higher. The ACCC was concerned that AGL may have an incentive to prematurely retire Liddell in order to withhold supply and drive up prices. Nevertheless, this government, with Gladys Berejiklian's support, put its own commercial interests ahead of the community interest and made that sale and gave away a valuable electricity generating asset. <coughs> the same issue was in play when the New South Wales government sold Valera Wing Power Station to Energy Australia at the same time, which then immediately closed that station, costing New South Wales a thousand megawatts of electricity and putting further upward pressure on prices. If the New South Wales community still owned Liddell, we would know firsthand whether or not it can be kept open beyond 2022 reliably, how much that would cost, and whether that investment is the best way to secure supply, or whether there is a better way to make electricity available to the community beyond 2022. It was not some secret that Liddell is scheduled to close in 2022. The closure dates of other coal-fired power stations is also no secret. One of the causes of escalating energy prices is the uncertainty about what will replace coal-fired power when it goes. In the past, when governments, and in New South Wales, Mr President, it was Labor governments, built power stations, the community did not pay the full price of this in their electricity bills. The state bore a significant share of that cost, not only individual households and businesses. Now we live in a privatised power system, privatised by the Liberal National Party governments across the country as well as here in New South Wales. We are at the mercy of private actors to invest in new generating capacity. Those investors need to get back the cost of their investment in a reasonable time and make a reasonable profit. All of this cost will now be paid entirely by individual households and businesses in their electricity bills. It does not matter whether you are in love with coal or only want renewables, we must be guided by what is the quickest, cheapest and most sustainable available sources of new electricity generating capacity. In factoring in cost, we must also be mindful of the cost of rehabilitating land and decommissioning sites uh, in that cost estimate as well. At present, and for the foreseeable future, this rules out even the best coal-fired technology now in existence. The fact is, Mr President, the wind blows enough and the sun shines enough to create the energy we need. We just have to store, be able to store it so it can be dispatched when we need it. And storage technology exists and is improving day by day. At the 2015 election, the Liberal National Government, with the Gladys Berejiklian <coughs> sitting in the Cabinet, promised that privatisation of electricity would bring electricity prices down. Since then, prices have continued to grow out of control. The evidence is clear. Privatisation and deregulation, also brought to you by the current New South Wales Government, 
has resulted in record high power prices in New South Wales. No, and this is a direct result no, of the actions no, of the present no, government no, and its no, ministers. No,